My name's Rolf Binder. I've, I've uh, grown up with wine. Um, my parents started this business in 1955, which is a, a relatively short time ago, but um, if you take the context of the world, it's a, it's a minute amount. Um, my parents came to Australia from Europe. Uh, my father was from Hungary and my mother was from Austria. And uh, they came with nothing. And they started the business in 1955. So this year we're 65 years as a business. And uh, I'm involved in it currently with my sister. And uh, it's, it's very much a situation that um, we had really good parents who never forced us to be involved, but they encouraged us. And uh, that's why my sister and I have ended up in the business and, and we're happy with what we do. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's, it's a hobby that's, well it's not really, it's a passion that's remained a passion all my life. Some of the younger winemakers have gone off to um, a market segment they want to chase, you know, which might be called the trendy wines or the natural wines and so on. Um, and others are, are making traditional wines. The, the big thing with winemaking, which probably some of them don't understand yet, is longevity and consistency. And every great winery of the world, the reason they have become great is that they have consistently made great wines. Um, and then in exceptional years, they make absolutely phenomenal wines, but then they also have the ability in lesser years to make very good wines. I think we, we're in a unique position here because we have a lot of our own vineyards, have our own material, we grow our grapes in, our cer in a certain way. The world market is changing. I think we are now at a, a delicate point that we could probably double the size of this business now within the next five to eight years. Um, just, just through sound business thinking.